You're looking at the 6572, it's the AIT rotary heat press. All the AIT heat presses are oil heated machines. And uh, so this is part of our work series, workhorse series of machines for apparel and cut parts manufacturing. Um, we're going to talk about the control system today, uh, the Schneider PLC touchpad. This is going to apply to a multiple of other machines uh, as well. You can see before we look at the touchpad up close, uh, we have a light tower here to notify the operator and others that um, the machine is in operation. You get an audible alarm and then of course a series of lights depending on the condition of the machine. So we're just powering up now. We're going to take a closer look at the operation and the features that you have uh, on the touch screen. We're back looking at the touch screen on, uh, this is on a machine that we call the 6572, but this applies to all our larger machines. I'm going to take you through the controls and, uh, and features that you have on the machine um, with the touch screen. So maybe the first thing you notice is we've got two temperatures here uh, that are being shown and they've got insignia uh, showing temperatures but the gist of it is this is the actual temperature and this is the set point point. Um, and then uh, by the way you can see the heat is on here and you can see that it's on in a hundred percent fashion so this is not entered the uh, PID loop where it's cycling as of yet. This is at uh, uh, heat up. And in fact, you can see the alarm downstairs showing you that um, uh, it's under temperature and coming up to heat. Um, so, and just uh, furthermore on kind of an overview, here's your line speed. This is in meters per minute, 3.1 meters per minute. That equates to 30 second dwell time. That's from the entry of the belt and drum to the exit, the dwell time. And then we have a counter here that we've had running, and I'll just go ahead and reset that. Um, it counts off uh, as you would like while you're running, and you can stop and start it and clear it. So first of all, let's just talk about, the, um, talk about how you change uh, settings. So in this case, our set point is set to 204. But if you want to change that, you simply touch it and then this calculator style pad comes up. And of course, we can change this to 205 and then we can enter. And in doing so, um, that'll show up here in the uh, set point. I didn't get it all the way entered. 205. Okay, and that's how it works for all of them. Of course, you can't do that with the actual temperature because that's not a settable um, uh, position. It's showing the actual temperature. So here's other features. You have your choice in this area on uh, line speed and or dwell time. So if you know that you want to run, I don't know, uh, 2.4 linear, linear meters per minute, you can enter that and uh, it'll set appropriately and then it'll give you what the dwell time is. Um, I don't know, most people don't know their line speed but they know their dwell time so you can change that to 45 seconds, enter, and you can see here that is 2.1 meters per minute. Now this is a 24 inch diameter drum so the larger the drum the faster the speed um, if we looked at our 13.75 inch drum, this would be about one half of this and uh, the speed that is at 45 seconds. And if you looked at the 40 inch diameter drum offerings that we have, then this same 45 seconds will be uh, twice this 2.1, so some four meters per minute. You see the counter continuing to count off so we can reset it and actually stop it from counting. Uh, or when you're ready to activate it, you just push the play button. So all of the, all of the um, settings and controls are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, down here you have a date and a time. So uh, in some other screens here that we can go to, 
you can actually set uh, a startup timer that will turn the machine on automatically. Before we do that, let's look at some other things. Here's a really great feature. Uh, you push this button and uh, uh, notice it's blinking, but also notice the line speed reduced to 0.7 meters per minute. So you use this for threading up the machine. The operator can just come over, they're ready to put in the fabric, the blotting tissue, etc. And so instead of doing it at 2.1 meters per minute, as an example, they can slow this down, conserve materials, the machine will run slower while it's still maintaining temperature, etc. And then when they're all threaded up and ready to go, they come back over and bang, they set that, they push that button, and all the variables for the recipe for that particular product are back on here. So, great feature. Cool down, um, it works just like any of the other AIT machines. This cool down feature turns the heat off to the machine and instead of just running a timer for an hour or so uh, to assume that the drum has cooled down, we actually monitor this, uh, uh, this actual temperature. And we're not going to turn the machine off until it's safe for the Nomax blanket uh, and the temperature that it's arrived at. Okay? More features inside the uh, machine. Uh, there's certain areas that are factory settings that need a password and so forth. And then there's other areas where, of course, you can set your language uh, that's needed here, and we've got a whole host of them. Uh, not every language, but a lot of choices there that, uh, that we have. And then here is, of course, um, it's where we can set our time and, and uh, day of the week but also this is to activate so if we wanted this machine to turn on at 5:30 on a friday then we would simply hit this on button and this machine will turn on at 5:30 in the morning and it'll heat up to 160 degrees so it'll bring it up to there and stop and uh, you can program it for every day of the week and, and select the days and of course skip the weekends or not um, easy interface there to work with and work around. Back home and of course there are more settings if you want to go in here and look at the motors and the settings uh, thereof you can see uh, all the different motors, the main motor, the rewinds that are used for the transfer paper, the blotting tissue and the finished fabric and the input conveyor and exit conveyor on these machines. Um, here's the total um, uh, kilowatt draw for this particular machine is uh, 33 kilowatt and back to home. We're monitoring the uh, air pressure here, inline air pressure. It's in bar and so the conversion to PSI is 14.4 times bar gives you PSI. Generally speaking we want the machine to have at least 60 to 70 PSI on it for the tracking system, uh, etc. The, the, uh, the touch screen will actually go to sleep after a while uh, when it's not used and then there's a, you'll notice on, a, on one of the panels there's a restore button. It's not here but that uh, will wake this back up. So that's our Schneider PLC touch screen control system on uh, the new AIT machines.